welcome back to my channel. Long time, no weekly Monday, Mondays, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. A Long time, no weekly Mannies. I don't really know what to say for myself other than the fact that I've kind of slowed down in the nail polish department. I haven't been wearing as many polishes a week as I used to, and so I felt like I didn't really have anything to say. But if you guys wanna see these every week, even if I just wear one polish, let me know, and I can do that for you. But there are some polishes that I've worn here lately that I just wanna share with somebody because I am sure my husband is tired of me sticking my hand in his face. So let's go. A couple weeks ago, and I don't know why, but I was laying in bed and suddenly I thought to myself, I want Essie Sweet Souffle. I have no idea where this came from. I had seen it previously. It hadn't really crossed my mind before to even pick it up, but suddenly I wanted it. So I went on eBay and I picked it up and I wore it. The formula is probably what you ex would expect from a polish like this. It's kind of this pearly white with a gold flash. I mean, it is actually really pretty. Uh, formula, like I said, it's it's gonna be what you expect from a polish like this, but it's not horrible. Um, I think I've heard that this is better than OPI's Majesty. The, I can't remember the name of that one, um, but there are differences between this and that one. Um, but I liked it. And I could see myself actually using this in like a spring stamping mantle, like maybe some rain clouds or something. I think it would just look really cute. I've also been in this buy all the mainstream yellows mood. I don't know why. I mean, when I think about it a little more, I think it's because spring is right around the corner. The days are warmer. The sun is staying out longer. I'm really excited about gardening. I finally went online and I picked up Essie's Avant Garment. This has been on my list, wish list for a while now. I was hoping I'd be able to find it in my local Target because they're actually really good about carrying the Gel Couture collections or the Essie collections in general. I don't know that I ever came across this one. I think maybe in time I kind of forgot about it. Um, but I went online and I picked it up. It's a beautiful yellow this is such a beautiful yellow it's not too pastel but it's not too bold it's certainly not neon by any means it's just such a beautiful shade of yellow the formula though is definitely that typical poor uh, thin kind of streaky formula that people have come to expect from yellows I'm hoping that um, if I leave the cap off it'll thicken a bit and make application a little bit easier because Unfortunately, even at three coats, there were some low spots. So that's a little unfortunate, but I'm gonna see what I can do about this one. In one of my 12 Days of Polish videos from 2018, I talked about different dimensions and how I wanted to place an order with them. They There are some polishes on their site that I've just had my eye on for a while. So more recently when they released, um, I think it was like a Valentine's Trio, I placed an order. I just picked up two polishes because I wanted to try them out. And one of them is Voila. This is beautiful. I cannot get enough of this. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think in person the pink shimmer would be as strong as it is. I thought you'd be able to see it, but I didn't think it would be as strong as it actually is. This polish is so, so beautiful. You can see that pink shimmer in any lighting. I cannot get enough of this. I posted it on Instagram and I could not stop getting likes on that photo. People are still liking it. I think it's like over 500 likes right now. I've never gotten that many likes. This polish is beautiful. So, so beautiful. I think I did three coats on this one. My nails are a lot longer at the moment. They're kind of getting to the point where I feel like I need to file them down because they're like uncomfortably long. So if you have shorter nails or maybe you go in it with a thicker second coat, I think you'll be able to get away with just two. But you guys, if you've been eyeing this on the Different Dimensions website, what you see is what you get. I cannot get enough of this. I wanted to wear it again already. It's just it's just so beautiful. The last mani I want to share with you guys, I actually posted on Instagram. It's the Lemon Mani. I cannot get enough of this one. This came out so well. It looked really good in my mind, but there have been times where something just looks so perfect in my mind, and then I actually followed through with it and it was just horrible it was absolutely horrible and i could not continue on but this one came out so perfect so um if you watch my maniology haul video you know i picked up the m028 plate this is a layering plate that is filled with fruit images and i went for the lemons because i love lemons i've always loved lemons lemons are like one of my favorite fruits it's just the thing i love sour things um the base color that i use for this one is zoya's jordan uh this is a lighter pink this is the only item 
in this Manny that I use that is not from Maniology. Formula on this isn't the greatest. I think you probably need three coats for this one, but I think through time, as with most Zoyas, they thicken up and they become two coaters if they were a three coater or a one coater if they were originally a two coater. So I did two coats of this one. It was still a little bit patchy, but I knew I was stamping over it, so I didn't bother to put on a third coat. And everything else I used was from Maniology. For the yellow, I used Arctic Equinox. For the green leaves, I used Lily Pad. And then for the outline, I used a straight up black. It's not like the greatest black, but it works well. I mean, it's inexpensive and I think it's worth the price. I decided to go ahead and top it off with the Smudge Free Top Coat. I really like this. It doesn't smudge my stamping, but I have noticed in, um, through a few manis that this does peel on like the third day but if you don't wear your manis that long it's not going to be a problem i stamped all of those polishes with the maniology ice cube stamper this is like the translucent black one um it works just fine i picked it up because it was at a discounted price and i don't really know why it was at a discounted price it works well it's not squishy it's not sticky um but it picks up the stamp and it applies it just just fine. Um, this is probably going to become my go-to stamper for the meantime because I'm really excited about it and I like that it is smaller and I can line up images I think probably more precise with this. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit more. I'm really excited about it. It's actually kind of exciting. Anyways. That is the stamper I used. I am rambling. That is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the beautiful orchid in the background. My husband actually got it for me for my birthday. It's the second one he got me because the first one, like a year or two ago, I overwatered and I killed it. These things do not require much water and it kind of freaks me out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys have been wearing, what your favorite Manny has been lately. I feel like I've been like hitting the jackpot lately with mine. So share with me what your favorite Manny's have been and I will see you in the next one. Bye!